Conor O'Connor finally on his way to Leinster. Yeah, which is uh, which is great news. Obviously, sort of um, there was a little bit of toing and froing, which there always is, but uh, we're absolutely delighted that, uh, that he's on board for the next three years. He's got a bit of a time, I suppose, that he needs to spend with Leicester for the moment. But when can we expect to meet him? When can we expect to have him over here? Yeah, I think he'll probably be able to, to pop over in, uh, in in the next few weeks. Um, you know, probably um, for a, for a couple of days or you know around a day off or something like that. But certainly, you know, starting um, the job full time, then that will be at the start of July. Can you just talk us through his uh, Matt O'Connor's pedigree and what you know about him for everybody? Well, again, I think you know we, we, we made it clear about what we're looking for in terms of his skill set, and we needed someone who um, you know was really going to challenge the players, a, a coach who was 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 into his detail. And I think where we're at as a as a squad, certainly the players you know manage a lot of what they're doing themselves. But the difference that Joe's made is is those small those small details, those one percenters, those half percenters that you know over the course of a of a game or a week or a season you know make a huge difference and. We were certainly looking for a coach of a similar ilk because um, we felt that that was the, uh, the way for Leinster to continue to move forward. How smooth a transition do you think it will be? Well, hopefully it'll be a smooth one. You know, he's um, you know he's coming into a, a fairly settled um, fairly settled organisation, and um, certainly with the coaching staff that um, you know he's literally coming in as as head man, but the rest of the coaching staff and and, and the support staff, the S and C medical physios, all those things are all um, are all still in place. So hopefully that will make the transition as smooth as possible. Will he have his own targets, or does he just slot into what Joe Schmidt has built forward for? Oh, I definitely bring his own, you know, his own, his own uh, ideas to it. I think, you know, we've, you know, been open in what we were looking for in terms of a similar coach to Joe, a similar skill set to Joe. But you know, no two people are the same, and uh, I guess we're looking forward to the uh, the differences that, that Matt can make, um, you know, to, to the uh, to the organisation as a whole. What about the Rebo now? Um, attention turns towards Glasgow at the weekend. Yeah, it's obviously a, a huge game for us. Um, we managed to uh, get a, res- a great result on the weekend against Ospreys and, and, and earn ourselves a home semi-final, which we really uh, need to take ad- advantage of. I think Glasgow have had a fantastic season, and I know Gregor Townsend was ma- uh, named Coach of the Year um, last night. You know, which is you know which is fantastic in his first year. I think he's done a tremendous job along with uh, Shade Munro and, and, and Matt Taylor, who uh, who's joined him this year as well. So really, really tough game.